My name is Mr. Lukens, and I will be your host for today's Bush Tucker Master Chef Challenge. Contestants will be given fire pits and a list of limited ingredients to compose dishes which are meant to wow the palates of our judges. Now let's meet the teams. G'day guys, what's the name of your team? Hey, uh, Ramsey's Kids. Ramsey's Kids, beautiful. Yeah. Is that in, in, in honour of Gordon Ramsay? Oh yeah. The one oh, only. Yeah, the goat. What are your names? Uh, I'm Joel. I'm Marcel. Brooke. And Bella. In terms of strategy for today, what are you going to be bringing to the table? Uh, mostly trash talk. Brilliant. Brilliant. Spice. Sabotage. Double sabotage. Jeez, Louise, I missed out on that one. Lots of drama. Looks like it's going to be a good day. Next team, we have the... Wichity Grubs. Your names are? Dave. Josh. Steve. What challenges are you going to be prepared to face today and what are you going to bring to the table to face them? Well, look, uh, we're going to hero Bush Tucker today because uh, that's what it's all about, uh, heroing Bush Tucker. And we're going to be bringing a, a whole plate full of delicious food. Brilliant. Look, uh, I'm going to be honest, I don't think I really bring much at all. Um, I think I was brought here purely for entertainment purposes. I have my boss on my left and let's be honest, our boss in the kitchen today on my right and uh, that'll probably get us through, I think. And I'd say we all agree. I'm going to equip uh, Josh here with a, uh, a nice uh, shale knife. See what he can do with that to, uh, to get some nice culinary delights happening. Looking forward to see what the Wichita Girls bring to the table. Uh, Next team. Your name, please. Your team name. The Graceful Ibises. Lovely. We love the, the old bin chicken. What a graceful creature. Your names are? Violet. Ella. Lake. Liam. And you are going to be bringing to the table, Violet. Ah, uh, burst of flavours. Great knife skills. Brains. I'm the test dummy. Lovely. Looks like the challenge is shaping up to be a tough one. Let's move on. You are provided with three compulsory ingredients. Kangaroo fillets, damper, and one of three native bush herbs. You must use all of these. You may use any of the other items provided at your station and prepare it as you see fit, as long as you have used each of the three compulsory items. You have one hour to cook, prep, and plate your dishes. Your time starts now. Teams will be choosing from three native bush herbs that they must incorporate into their dishes. First, we have lemon myrtle, which is without a doubt the most popular of Australia's native herbs, with its fresh fragrance of creamy lemon and lime that is commonly used as a savoury seasoning or sweet flavouring in ice cream or sorbet. Next, we have saltbush, which is used raw and cooked, but is most commonly dried and ground as a spice that was traditionally added to damper. Lastly, we have ground pepperberries. Pepperberries are more versatile uh, as an option to the conventional peppercorn and are able to be used in both sweet and savoury dishes. The right balance of flavours could potentially make or break our team's dishes. So let's hope they can use these native bush herbs wisely. Good, good morning, gentlemen. It's a little known fact that um, Mr. Knott used to be part of a secret uh, culinary society. Unfortunately, since then he spilt the beans. How do you feel about that, Noddy? I could always use more beans. Thanks for that. Mr. Jones, I see you're doing something with your hands here. Could you talk us through your process? Yeah, sure. Look, uh, I'm cooking a bit of damper here. I've been cooking damper for 15 years. Uh, some might say I'm an expert at damper. Yeah. Some others, maybe not. Look, some may disagree. Yeah, yeah. Look, I actually, uh, yeah, I don't know if I've made it before, but I'll give it a go. He is um, an expert educator in children. He's helped and, and looked after many, many kids. He's very, very, very good at cooking. Um, world renowned, in fact. Um, has a heart for, for those who need uh, good nutrition. I'm, of course, talking about Jamie Oliver. He's Mr. Davis. Mm, yeah, hi. Hi. And uh, like Jamie, I am a man of the people. 
Uh, and that's what it's about today, being a man of the people. Uh, it's probably not about who's the best cook, because otherwise I'm in trouble. So um, here I am. Look, we've got the kids here. Well, Mr Jones here, he's already had a bit of a cry today. There was, I mean, this damper reminded him of his, was it your auntie? Uh, my auntie, yeah, yeah. yeah. Very, uh, yeah, very emotional time. Um, lovely lady who, she really was the one who first got me into cooking a long time. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. So Look, we may, we may have to cut away. This, uh, it's getting a bit emotional over here with the, uh, the Wichita Grubs. Back to you. Thanks, Mr. Lukens. I'm here with Ramsey's kids. Let's check in on their progress. How are we going today with your cooking? Yeah, pretty good, thanks. Just cooking some sweet potato fries, but yeah. Seems uh, unconventional. What kind of herbs are you using with those fries? Salt. Don't know if salt would be considered a herb, but that's all right. Everyone is learning. We are at school after all. All right, guys, let's see what's going on here. Are you making some damper? Yeah, we're yeah. making garlic and um, whatever herb this is, damper. What's it called? He doesn't know either. We have a clear control of what ingredients are going to dishes. It's good to see. Good morning, Blake. How are you feeling today about uh, today's competition? All right. What are you looking forward to in general, mate? Cooking the kangaroo. I thought that might have been you. Uh, you guys here, what are you, what are you preparing here? Can you describe to me your process, please? Uh, I'm trying to need some dough to make a damper. It's good to see a lot of confidence happening here with the teams. Uh, Viola, what are you uh, in the process of doing? Um, mincing the garlic. With a knife. I might uh, not distract you at this point in time. Otherwise, you'll be mincing your fingers as well. This is live footage coming to you from uh, the front lawn of the pack. Mr. Knott, you're here at the fire. Tell us what you're doing here. Oh, we're getting a, a little bit of a kumara here. We're um, tossing it in some butter and some spices. And Oh, oh yep. Oh, it's oh, I can see you're very adept at using the, uh, the, the old tongs. Any other implements that you like to use? Oh, no, the occasional knife, you know, and spatula. It's always oh. good. It's not pronounced spatula, is it? No, not patula. No, we don't oh. like that one. Okay. <laughs> Here. Oh no, if this falls off, this could be the end of their competition. Uh, Massa is really struggling here with his food. He's gone in for the old aim prudent grab, which is an unconventional technique. Looks like he might have actually burnt the tip of his fingers off. Oh no, it could be all over for Ramsey's kids today. This is not looking good. Here we have the witchery grubs convening around the fire pit. They look a little bit more organised, although seems like a mishap has, has struck the team. Their tin foil has disappeared into thin air. Oh no. Really, the biggest part of sabotage was me being on their team. Uh, I feel like I'm letting them down. Uh, this isn't my area of. Okay, it's the fire that's making me starting to tear up. I'm getting emotional too. <laughs> Look, it's okay, just embrace it. Okay, I'll embrace you instead. Just... All right, we have, uh, I think it's Kindy down here, I'm pretty sure. My producer's telling me it's year one. We have year one down here. Uh, let's go and see what they're thinking of the competition. Good morning, mate. What's your name? Braxton. Braxton. How are you going, Braxton? Good. What are you thinking about the competition today so far? <laughs> he thinks it's laughable as well. We're, at least we're on the same boat. What, tell us what thoughts are going through your head at this present time, Violet. Wasn't enough foil, and we didn't think this through properly before we started. Um, so... So are you regretting your decisions at the moment? Is that what I'm hearing you say? Maybe not thinking it through properly so that we have another spare container to cook the damper in, but she'll be right. At this stage in the competition, I don't know if she'll be all right. It's going to cut it. So how are you feeling about your foil mishap? I am honestly scared for my life right now. I think this is good. That's the right level of fear we want to see. This is a high stakes competition after all. What do you think about the mistakes you've made so far? Uh... Yes, me too. Uh, Massa, could you just repeat what you said just now at the fire? You said it, this doesn't look delicious from the standpoint of Mr. Davis, but for everyone else, it looks good. Uh, looking at this, I'm, I'm, I'm reminded of 
Well, I'm not sure what, what I'm reminded of, but doesn't doesn't necessarily appetise. Um, are you are you planning on um, doing anything about your with your presentation? Uh, yeah, yeah. The, the the little Gordon Ramsay's because I, I don't know if, uh, if your father Gordon would be proud. Uh, look, in the words of Izzy, we're not French. We can't stand up to that standard. Um, ask it yourself. Thank you, Massa. Um, back to the original question. I think we'll, as he put his food on the fire, which we can just see here, he said, "Ah, that's not too bad." And I'm glad to see that we're expecting a high standard of cooking from our teams in this competition, and they're living up to that. Certainly. I'm not going to say it looks like a dog's breakfast, but wow. Mr. Jones, I've, I've been noticing Mr. Davis floating around, stirring up trouble. How do you feel about that sort of um, esprit de corps? And, and, you know, I guess it's a little bit nefarious, a little bit um, undercutting the, the rest of the teams. What do, you, what do you make of that in terms of uh, your head of senior school here? Uh, look, well, it is in one sense in the spirit of the competition here today. And uh, we have been victims ourselves of uh, several assaults on our own cooking, including um, we've had things stolen, we've had some pretty nasty comments made. So I think Mr Davis is well within his rights just to, to push back a little bit for their sake, for the kids, for the kids. So you're condoning a little bit of a healthy rivalry, is that, is that how well, we should put it? That's really all it is, let's be honest, it's nothing more than that, yeah, yeah, a little, little bit of fun in the kitchen. Well thank you for that, hopefully it doesn't involve knives. <laughs> Here with the um, Gordon Ramsay's kids, I think they've come through a period of tribulation and um, disunity within their team. Let's just hear from the group themselves about how they've managed to pull through and come out the other side, hopefully a stronger team. We're going to get him back, that's all I can say. We've made this unification cake because we're buddies again. Um, this is the unification of the Gordon Ramsay's kids. And we're going to finish it off with an egg. Oh my gosh! projectiles have been thrown. A whole egg has just been thrown at the Wichity Grubs. How do you respond, Mr Davis? Well, it was obviously an accident. I mean, why would anyone ever throw an egg at me? Like, that was an accident. It's okay, guys. Play on. Innocent bystander over here. Uh, I'm not sure if he's quite so innocent after all. A big part of the process and this competition comes down to presentation. How do you feel about the aspect and the look of this damper here? We're looking at a little bit of our carbonisation. Was this a part of the, the vision you had when you started oh, cooking? Definitely. Always. We're Ramsey's kids. This is how we do it. Undoubtedly. <laughs> he would not be ashamed. I beg to differ. Uh, we have the graceful ibises, also known as the bin chickens. Hopefully their food... Um, Kind of rises above a standard of uh, bin juice. Let's see how we're going. What are we, what are we working on at the moment, Blake? I think they're making pancakes. Yep. How are you going with your competition at the moment? How do you feel you're working as a part of this team? Uh, I honestly don't know. What quality of the Ibis do you think you would bring to the team if you were to name one? Um, Resourcefulness, I thought so. We're back here in this and not at the fire pit. Looks like everything is going smoothly despite a little bit of projectile interference. Mr. Knott, um, on a scale of one to damper, how would you rate your performance in the competition so far? Um, good, yeah, uh, well, seven eighths damper would, I think, would be close enough today. Right, yeah. Yeah. Brilliant, thank you very much. We're seeing, a, up, we're seeing a creative use of uh, banana leaf here. Mr Davis, taking over from Mr Knott with a spatula. Look, let's, spatula. let's just... <laughs> Sorry, the tongs. I'm... <laughs> Mr. Davis talking to himself at the fire pit, which is his usual activity on a Saturday afternoon. You'll find him on Panorama Road, just squatting by the road, cooking up some sweet potatoes in a, in a tin foil bucket. This is a sad, sad, sorry state of affairs. Now I guess if your team is going for carbon poisoning, then uh, you're on the right track. That was your cupcake of a cupcake of uh, unity, wasn't it? And now that Mass has destroyed your cupcake of unity, how do you feel that unity is being upheld within your team? Uh, look, it's still there. We're still fighting. We're Ramsey's kids. We're going to do this. He's ruined it. <laughs> well, it seems like there's divisions within the team. It's not looking good for Ramsey's kids. Give a 15-minute call here. My producers are telling me that's what we're up to. Uh, teams, you have 15 minutes remaining for your cooking. By the end of these 15 minutes, you must have prepared all your food and plated it up for judging. 15 minutes. 
Oh no. Oh no, the tongue has gone straight into the damper. Violet, could you just, um, it is a special. Can you just talk us through what's, what's happened here? This isn't looking very good for your competition. No words, lost for words. Blake, could you comment please? Not happy. I'm, I'm here with Bella. Um, yep. We're going actually on a secret mission. Bella, could you just sort of outline the sort of broad brushstrokes of what this mission is? Yeah, sure. So a big part of the Ramsey team is presentation. So we're going to go look for some presentation things that are native to the Australian land. Sounds very creative. I think the judges will love this. Let's go with her, see what she can find. And Bella has found some native plants. This is called lavender, isn't it? Yes. Yes, that's exactly what I was Would saying. you call it strictly native? Strictly. Absolutely strictly native. Native. Strictly native Australian lavender. You heard it here, folks. I think we're on the verge of a new discovery of a new species. Yes, we are. A cook, a chef, and also a horticulturist. Yep. That's the word. I should say botanist. Hello. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what plant would you call Pretty much, <laughs> nor do I most of the time. So how do you feel about that performance oh, from Bill? I'm, I'm very impressed with my teammates. They pulled through. What a good job. Despite your um, past behaviours. Uh, Brooke, how do we feel about the native use of uh, lavender here? Look, I think it looks great. And I think we're going to win. No doubt. Hey, um, contestants, you have 60 seconds remaining. You must be getting your presentation ready. So it looks like there's going to be a mad rush here. 60 seconds left. 60 seconds. Leave it on the table. Oh, it looks like the teacher's presentation is looking good. We've got a bit of paper bark, banana leaves, some wattle or what do you call this, Mr. Knott? Uh, yeah, um, eucalypt flower. Lovely. Very native. Very Australian. We're pretty happy with this dish, actually. I think we put in a lot of time and, and emotion into it, and we're, yeah, we're thrilled, to be honest, to be presenting this to the judges today. Your auntie would be proud of you today. Let's, let's, let's pan away. Give him some privacy, please. All right, 60 seconds or probably more like 30 seconds left. How are we going, Blake? What do you think? Good. All right, brilliant. Verbose as ever. Uh, Violet. Yes. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Eight. Implement down. Let's go. Tables for presentation. Give them a clap, Year 9. Give them a clap. Thank you very much. Thank you for... Your good sportiveness, yes, lovely, 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 lovely. Oh yes, I'm getting a note from our producer. I'm going to introduce our judges for today. We have Mr. Carter here, who's looking very refined indeed. He actually has a great expertise when it comes to all things food, don't you, Mr. Carter? I have a lot of experience eating food. Yes. What are you looking forward to today about this competition in particular? Uh, I'm expecting a lot of a variety in the taste. Um, looking for that smoky flavour, especially. Well, you will be getting a lot of that, I can guarantee you. Over here we have Miss Jones. Could you tell us a little bit about your background as a judge in a MasterChef competition? Well, look, I've been watching MasterChef for many years, so I feel like I'm well versed in, you know, how to judge food. So I'm looking forward to it. Brilliant. So are we. And we have over here, lastly, from Year 9 Red, uh, Ruby. You're our last minute judge. How do you feel about judging the food of your classmates, among others? Yes, I am very excited because I'm very hungry. So this will be a fair match now. Brilliant. Are you worried a little bit about bias here when it comes to judging your own classmates? No, I'm not. That's good. We'll just leave it at that. We have the graceful ibises approaching. They have multiple components to their dish. A bit of paper bark here. It's looking good. They've got the damper. They've got the kangaroo. It looks like they've used some of the herbs and spices. So from the outset, it looks like they've hit the brink. So the, the graceful ibises are shaking their head. The garnish is not edible. Unless you want to have a bad time today, I would suggest not eating the garnish. Ruby, what are your thoughts at the moment about the presentation? Good, but the tomato sauce on the damp is a bit... How are you going? That wasn't satisfying. Oh. Right. Okay, well, would you like to try some of each element? Sure. <laughs> we really just want to get some of those chewing sounds. Oh, yep. Yeah. 
I like the crunch. Good crunch. I think she's being very kind here. How, how well cooked are those potatoes, do you think, Miss Jones? They are actually pretty well cooked. I, they're soft, no, not much crunch, and the flavouring is very nice, actually. So I think they've done a good job. Yeah, a little bit tough, could have done with a bit more flavouring. Yes, it, it's, it's quite tasty. It's probably better than I've had off the barbecue, to be fair. The carrots are very tasty. The flavouring on the vegetables is very nice. It's probably the highlight of the dish for me. Well, I think we recovered quite well from when we were sabotaged, uh -huh. but I think we did quite well. So you've made a comeback. Are you feeling apprehensive about how the judges are going to respond to your dish? Uh, look, you're always apprehensive before a tasting, but look, I'm confident that, you know, the team's done a great job. The presentation is so good, like really good. I agree, the pres it looks amazing, I can't wait to dig in. It's very impressive. Very impressive. Mm, that's got great flavouring. Mm. Really well seasoned, I love it. And I'm just going to try a bit of this damper. Mm. I think the presentation's exceptional. I think, um, I feel like I'm not doing it justice by eating it here in this setting and we really need to be like by a creek or under a gum tree or something. It's perfect. So I'm really looking forward to this. I really like the fact they've added garlic. Um, yeah, the extra, as you said, the extra um, component with the egg. But I, I was expecting to see some red in the kangaroo because I, I wasn't thinking that was going to be that cooked. That would be my only criticism, but otherwise it looks amazing. Here comes year 12 with their dish. The judges are ready. We've got a um, lemon myrtle muffin um, that has been halved because of um, reasons. Yeah, so the kangaroo's been crumbed in um, a garlic butter crumbing with ground pepper berries and lemon myrtle. Um, the potatoes are quite undercooked. There's quite a crunch there, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, the bush tomato really enhances the flavour. And I think hides the sugar that's been put on top, so it really complements it in that way. Their kangaroo, or at least this bit, is less tough than the previous teams. I think they've nailed the kangaroo. I think, I think, if, the, I think if the kangaroo was the main component of this dish, I think they would probably be coming through quite strong. I think it's the best kangaroo we've had today. But it's, it's probably a shame that they've let themselves down with the other components. That's really nice. That's a really nice muffin. It's a good muffin. The, the damper is quality. I actually really like it. Well, now that the judges have tasted each of the dishes, we're going to give them some time to deliberate for this Master Chef Bush Tucker Edition 2000 and 2021. So, for year nine, we really enjoyed your presentation. We liked that. Um, we thought that your sweet potato and the flavouring especially on your sweet potato was excellent. We all commented on that and we went back for seconds. We also thought your potato was really good. Potato chip, that was, that was wonderful. Um, so those two things we really enjoyed but unfortunately we thought your damper was overcooked um, and we didn't actually eat a lot of your damper as a, result, as a result. And also your kangaroo was quite hard to make through, uh, to make our way through. It wasn't, it wasn't as rare as it probably needed to be. But thank you for, for your um, contribution, and we did enjoy it. Thank you. Um, for the teachers, we loved your presentation, and the quantity of food you put out was quite amazing, so thank you. Your, again, potato and sweet potato was delicious, and the flavour from the spices that brought out was very good. Uh, your damper was also, I think, the best damper mm. that we had, I think that's fair to say, yeah. well cooked. Again, the flavour, putting the, gut, the butter and spices on top was really well thought out. Unfortunately, your kangaroo let you down quite a bit. It was, uh, yeah, too overcooked, unfortunately. Uh, so, yeah, we really enjoyed it. We thought you did really well. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Um, year 12, the uh, kangaroo was very good. It was easy to get through and it was very tasty. The damper, it had a good... It was well cooked, but there would I would like a bit more flavour in there. Um, flavour, not there. Um, the potatoes, they were a bit too crunchy for all of us. Yeah, just not as well done. But the lemon myrtle cake, was it? Yep, that, that was really good. And 
just the kangaroo and the lemon myrtle cake, that just pulled it through. So whilst it was a very hard decision, it was very um, hard. We, we did reach a consensus. It was, a, it was a big challenge for us to make a decision, but we have reached a decision. And together we decided that, that it was 12. year 12. Year 12. Won the competition. How do you feel about coming from, I guess, disunity, making a unity cake, pulling through, and then being the winners overall? What are you, what's your reaction? Well, it was the cake that pulled us through in the end, and the cake symbolised our unity. So really, we only have Gordon Ramsay to thank. Yeah, I do feel very united with the rest of them, but um, yeah, I'm just amazed we won. Didn't think we'd make it in the end, but we did. Brilliant. Yeah, I'm just happy about where we ended up. We were sabotaged again and again, but in the end, our sabotage overcame the rest, so, yeah. Uh, it was really our sportsmanship and our dad that brought us through. And it's just, it's just good to be part of a team. Looks like Unity has won it for the day. If it wasn't just this team, Unity did as well. Look, we're just chatting, but we'll, we'll, we'll start our restaurant again soon, and uh, we'll be back next year. We'll be back next year. We'll be back next year. Seems like Mr. Jones may have taken it a little too hard.